I want to use Excel to show you how you can create a synthetic put option. Before I do that, let me show you the graph here for a short position in a stock. So here in a short position in a stock, and we're going to assume that we short it at a price of 20. So if the price goes down, remember that a short sale means you've sold it, you've called your broker up, they have borrowed the shares for you, you have sold the stock and you hope to buy it back at a lower price. So if you sold it at 20 and the price falls to let's say 14, you would make a profit of 6. Right? Essentially, you sold it at 4 or you bought it at 14 and you sold it at 20. Now, if you look at this payoff diagram, you can see you have a large but limited possible gain. The best that can happen is you sell it at 20, the price goes to zero, and so it costs you nothing to buy it back, and so you make $20 per share. Now, the downside is, is there's no limit to how high the price of the stock um, could go. So you could short it at 20 and have to buy it back at 30 or 40 or 50. Now, it's likely you would get a margin call before then, and probably wind up closing out your position. But theoretically, there's no limit to how much money you could lose. Now, and if you look at this um, this chart here, this uh, table, I have the profits from the short sale. Remember, we sold it short at 20, so that's where you have zero profit. If the price goes below 20, you make money. If it goes above 20, you start losing money. For every dollar it goes above 20, you lose a dollar. Now, what you'd ideally like to do is create a payoff position, for example, that looks like a put option. So here this blue line is this long position in the put. So what I've done over here is I've assumed that the put sells for three. We're going to use the exercise price to be the same price that you shorted it at. And you can see that here, if the price falls to zero, you sold it at 20, right? The exercise price, you buy it back for zero. And that makes you a profit of $20 minus the $3 premium. So you can see that you know, at a price of, for example, let's say $10, you would have sold it at 20, bought it at 10, made $10 minus the $3 um, premium. But you can see that once you get above um, 20, your losses stop. They stop at that premium of $3. So it just flattens out. So the difference here, this orange line, the short sale, you can keep losing money. Here, your losses are limited to this $3 premium. Now, suppose you happen to have a short position. And so let me get rid of that. Uh, you have your short position again. Yet, what you'd like to do is not buy a put, you just like to protect the short position. What you can do is you can go long a call. So I'm going to assume that the premium for the call is $2 and that um, that the exercise price is 20 here. So you can see that, for example, and some of you may note I probably didn't make the pricing up correctly. So, um, you know, if you're using put call parity, you're probably going to find that my pricing is incorrect. But let's just look here. If you add a call option to this position, let's see what happens. So what does a call look like? So I'm going to add the long call option to our position. And my graph looks like this. So the short still looks like this. The call looks like this. Call is going to have an exercise price of 20, a price of 2. And what do we see? That once the price starts going above 20, for every dollar you lose on the put, you make a dollar on the call. So you're going to cut out those losses. So this, this um, part of the table here that says synthetic put, 
this is going to be equal to the short position of the call plus the I'm sorry the short position in the stock plus the long position in the call so you can see that here it's going to flatten out your losses to two right because once you get here you may be losing money on the short but you're making the same amount of money on the call so it offsets your loss so what's that position look like let's go with the synthetic put I'll get rid of the other two graphs it looks exactly like a put option okay and we call it a synthetic put because instead of buying a put what you did is you shorted the stock and you bought a call so this here creates this put option so it gives you a way to protect your short position from adverse losses should the price of the stock keep going up but it still allows you to profit should the price fall so again the neat thing about options is that you're able to create all kinds of different payoff strategies and the reason you can is because when you buy a put or a call it gives you the right but not the obligation to buy in the case of a call or sell in the case of a put so it gives you a chance to create a put payoff strategy by using a call and a short sale um, in a previous video I showed how you can create a synthetic call by being along the stock and buying a put option so there are all different kinds of payoff strategies you can create by combining um, different different combinations of uh, options and long and short positions in the stock so if you want to graph this what you'll simply do is you'll highlight these cells and then you go to insert and I like to use recommended charts and they'll give you a bunch of them you have to have an idea of what the graph looks like this clearly isn't it it's this one although it looks kind of funny this is the orange line is the short sale and the blue line is the synthetic put I'm sorry the blue line is uh, is a put the yellow line is the synthetic put and this gray line here a little hard to see is the call option so I'm not going to hit OK because I've already um, uh, created the graph and again just to sort of recap you'll just put in the payoffs here what's the payoff for a long put position it's going to be equal to the maximum of the exercise price which is in cell D3 here minus the stock price which is here in B6 I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the three um, for the D3 so that when I copy it down it just holds this cell okay so it's going to be the maximum of D3 minus B6 or zero remember that if it's out of the money we just throw it away if this is a negative number the um, exercise price minus the stock price we just throw it away and we lose the premium and then minus the premium for the short position in the stock it's just going to be equal to we're using the same price of 20 so it's going to be 20 minus whatever the um, stock price is so again I use D3 again um, D dollar sign 3 minus B6 and I just copy it down the long call is going to be the maximum of the stock price which is in B6 minus the exercise price which is in F3 and again I put a dollar sign in so I can copy the cells down okay or zero because again when it's out of the money when the uh, stock price is below the exercise price it just takes on a value of zero and then we subtract out the premium which is in F2 and the synthetic put is just adding these two together so Again, I don't know how well you can see it on your screen. It's just going to be D6 plus E6, and we'll just copy it down. So this is a great way to get a better understanding of some of these different positions. Excel is great because it, you can copy the calculations down. You don't have to do one at a time by hand. And then you can graph the different positions and look at them in, in different situations. You can look at, you can compare the... Uh, 
put option to the short sale on the stock. You can compare the um, the call option and the look at the call option with the short sale on the stock to get an understanding of how the synthetic put will look. So it's a great way to get gain a better understanding of of um, a synthetic put and other kinds of payoff strategies in um, for options.